They don't care how bad a guy he is or how many sins he's committed. He just said that their beliefs are true, so they will empty their pockets for him. Irma Gerd, he said, Jesus is Lord, give him all our money. And I'll tell you what, uh, Trump came out there and alluded to the Lord's Prayer. He didn't actually say it, but one time he did read it off a teleprompter, and that clinches it for me. I'm voting for him. He vaguely alluded to the religion that I vaguely allude to when I need people to think I'm a good person. Did Kamala Harris tell hecklers they were at the wrong rally? She did, but it's unclear if the acrimonious rally attendees said to prompt her response. So, two goobers uh, yelled out something in the crowd, and then she said, you're at the wrong rally. Here, let's watch. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Now, normally, this doesn't matter. This is not important. But the most important part is what those two people said from the crowd. And what did they say? They said, Jesus is Lord. Oh my God. This means Christians aren't allowed at her rallies. This means Christians are uh, second class citizens. This means that the, the religious people are being persecuted. This means that Jesus is Lord. It needs to be chanted. A religious slogan. There we go, drama and uh, uh, emo Waldos. So, is that what they yelled? Sure, who cares? Did she tell them to go to the other one? Sure, who cares? But Christians need that per sweet, sweet persecution. They need it. They gotta have it. And they hate her. So any accidental slight towards them means that they are correct to hate her. So now in, Trump, in, in response, is going to do what the only thing he can do, which is to just double down, triple down, quadruple down on the religiosity. But as I look back at my life's journey and events, I now recognize that it's been the hand of God leading me to where I am today. And they love it. Oh, those Christians love it. They love that sweet, sweet lip service. Hello human, it is me Kanooch, I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Okay, here we go. Reg just regular, normal, everyday things that aren't weird at all. Nothing weird about this, you guys. At the church, with the screaming baby and the sad boy. Nothing weird about this. Just a normal day in Trump's white America. This is just... Oh, they're so happy. Look at all those happy people back there. All those happy white people. Uh, they're so excited. They're so just fucking weird, right? That's not normal. <laughs> what am I seeing when I look at these people? Giant screaming gullibility. The gullibility of the American Christian right wing is inviting fascism into America. Religion, much like cryptocurrency, the economy, house parties, and orgies, need people involved to buy in and be a vocal participant. They need the vibes, they need the positive affirmation, and lots of people. These are large group activities. If I create my own money, crypto, paper, or coins, it's of no value because nobody recognizes it, nobody accepts it, no one is participating. I have to convince a lot of people that this coin that I invented is valuable. If I am alone in my house dancing, it's not a party. I need to convince many people to come over and dance and drink and do whippets. If I am alone in my house jonking it, it's not an orgy. I need to convince many people to come over and get naked and sticky. Okay, The same goes for religion. If I am alone in my house talking to ghosts, and they talk back, I'm a crazy person. But if everyone I know is in the same room talking to St. Peter, who died 1800 years ago, that's a religion now, isn't it? It's because of that severe need for people to accept and normalize religion that leads them to be easily manipulated, which is what Donald Trump is doing. He's manipulating them. Lip service is all they need. And lip service is all that Trump has ever provided. Trump will bankrupt Social Security while looking into the camera and 
promising you to protect it. He will cut the taxes for Elon and force the DOJ to drop charges against uh, the, uh, Elon's companies, all the while looking at the crowd and telling them that he's going to help the American workers. On Hidden Cam, he says, uh, grab him by the pussy. He helped uh, kill Roe v. Wade, and he is liable for sexual assault. But he told a group of women at Fox News Town Hall last week that he was going to protect them. Lip service is all he ever offers. He is no Christian. He never has been. That would require him to believe in something more powerful than himself. He's much too much of a narcissist to accept that. So he offers them lip service, and they love it absolutely love it. Conservatives love the performative religiosity from him. They gobble that bullshit up and ask for more. They don't even care if it's bullshit. They don't care how bad a guy he is or how many sins he's committed. He just said that their beliefs are true, so they will empty their pockets for him. Irma Gerd, he said, Jesus Lord, give him all our money. And I'll tell you what, uh, Trump came out there and alluded to the Lord's Prayer. He didn't actually say it, but one time he did read it off a teleprompter, and that clinches it for me. I'm voting for him. He vaguely alluded to the religion that I vaguely allude to when I need people to think I'm a good person. They don't need him to actually do good things. They just need him to say that he wants those good things. They don't need him to actually be a Christian. He's just saying it is enough for them. They're so far underwater in this sunk cost fallacy, they can't even see sunlight anymore. Uh, remember when Trump said held that Bible all stupid? Remember when he did this? Very dumb, very stupid thing to do. Now, the Christians loved it, but why did he do this? I mean, he wanted to hurt protesters. That's why he did this. He wanted to hurt American citizens who are protesting against him. I'm not kidding about that. The protesters were out there. He didn't want them there. And then he asked his military advisors if he could shoot them. And they said no. Then he suggested shooting them in the legs. And they said no again. Then he asked about pepper spray and tear gas. And they were like, yes, but why are we doing that? And he gave them a weak-ass bullshit answer. Uh, uh, I need them to uh, move so that I can... Uh, take a, a, a photo with the Bible in front of that church right there. And then they were like, there are other churches that don't have protesters in front of them right now. No, 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 no. I need to take a photo holding this Bible weird in front of this exact church right now. Now, was this, you're looking at it on screen, was this part of some very important role that the president must fulfill according to the Constitution? No. Was this church in the photo important to the functioning of the country? No. He just wanted to hurt the protesters because he is spiteful and a catty bitch. But the Christians loved it. Violence on the people they don't like, followed by a photo in front of a church holding a Bible? Ugh. That is pure ecstasy to a right-wing conservative Christian. And there were plenty of Christians uh, symbols on January 6th. The QAnon sh shaman, let's find him too. The QAnon shaman held a prayer before he did his treason and sedition, Christians in America today will allow any crime, any anti-government action, any amount of violence, as long as the perpetrator gives their preferred imaginary friend just a little bit of lip service. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. And then there's this asshole, J.D. Vance. Anti-Christian rhetoric and anti-Christian approach to public policy. I don't think we've... I don't think that we've, that's right, Jesus is king, and I don't think that we've seen. And then they cheer for him. J.D. Vance, Jesus Christ, he is no Christian. He was an atheist back in college, but he converted to Catholicism later. Why did he do, do that? Did he have some magical awakening? Did the God of the universe reach down and talk to him personally? I doubt it. I bet he just saw how easy it is to control Christians. He can do anything he wants as long as he gives a little bit of lip service to Jesus first. Commit any crime. Spread any hate speech. Preach violence and stochastic terrorism all day long as long as he loudly says a prayer first. If you are hate watching this uh, and you are a Christian, please listen. Fascism is here in our country and it is using the flag as camouflage. Trump advance will use your cross as a weapon against their political enemies. They will demand that you comply with their anti-human, anti-freedom uh, agenda because they pretend to be your religion for a few minutes. And if you cheer them on, you're a bad person. Stop lying to yourself. Stop being a rube. Stop being willfully blind. Your gullibility is going to get people killed. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.